prices plummet. Is this a bubble? Housing crash. There are some scary clickbait headlines out there, but real estate is a hyper local market. So what does all of this mean here in Northeast Florida? I've got the current stats and numbers. Let's break this all down. There is no doubt the market has shifted. Across the nation in several cities, lowering home prices are extreme, but averages are made up of the lowest, the highest, and everything in between. And focusing on just the worst markets creates a lot of those scary headlines. Headlines that do more to terrify than to verify. Here in Jacksonville, we are one of the hottest markets in the nation, so we make up the high end of the national averages. Everyone knew the market was climbing too high, too fast. The experts have been predicting a settling, a course correction, and that correction is here. The median sales price last month did drop 2.7%, but hang on, whoa, before everyone starts freaking out, it's still up 12.7% over last year. That is still very much in the correction neighborhood and not a crash. Not that a crash can't happen, it's just unlikely until certain conditions are met. And the biggest one is that the supply of homes has to be way, way, way over the demand. Now our inventory is up 13.4% over last month and wowza, 92.8% over last year. Those are some scary numbers. And they have been climbing rapidly ever since the Fed started raising interest rates. So have the scales tipped the wrong way and inventory is too high? Well, no. The real estate industry's general consensus is that a healthy housing market, one that is pretty equal between sellers and buyers, has five to six months of supply, which basically means if there were no new homes on the market and the average number of homes continued to sell each week, it would take five to six months to sell them all. Our inventory right now is at 3.3 months, up 47.8% over last month and 186.5% over last year, which is a lot a whole lot but this is still a low inventory and technically speaking still a seller's market all this just shows how incredibly off balanced we were we were so off that getting back on course it feels like we're falling what does this all mean if you need to sell your home or you want to buy a home it means we need to adjust your strategy to match the current market home sellers. A big takeaway from this month's stats for you is that 1,921 homes sold last month in Northeast Florida. 97.7% of those received asking price and 15.7% were over asking. Now that's down from last year and last month, but it's still 2,000 home sales and almost all got what they were asking. So why can't one of those be yours? Homes are still selling. Just last week, I had a home go under contract three days after I listed it. A year ago in that market, this home would have had multiple offers in hours. But the end result is the same. It's gonna sell. The super hot seller's market has passed, so we need to be more strategic when we sell your house. Work with a great realtor to make sure your online photos, videos, and virtual tours look amazing. They highlight all the selling features that set your house apart and have a smart pricing strategy. Basically, if there are eight homes in your area with features and stats like yours, make sure that yours is one of the best options and it's priced reasonably so it won't be passed over for another less expensive home. The housing market is all about averages and probabilities, but to sell your home, it only takes one buyer. Home buyers, this inventory increase is great news for you. Larger inventory means less competition, all those horror stories you've been hearing the past few years, competing against dozens of offers, cash offers, people offering $20,000 over asking, those are now extremely rare. The big reason less people are trying to buy homes right now is the interest rates. And yes, they are going up. And this has a lot of people scared of taking on a home loan right now. But some savvy potential home buyers are taking another look at buying and the market trends. First of all, rents are going up. Even if you have a super nice landlord and they haven't increased the rent in years, the owners are getting hit with higher taxes, higher insurance, and with inflation, higher maintenance costs. And the owners have no choice but to raise the rent when they renew your lease. Interest rates are also expected to keep on rising. And the higher rates go, the less home you can afford. 
So a year or so from now, today's rates could seem low and the kind of house you can buy now, you won't be able to get then. A fixed rate mortgage is one of the best ways to ensure your monthly housing budget doesn't go up. Now I'm a realtor, not a lender, so I can't speak too much to the loan issues, but I do know several great lenders I work with and I can help get you in touch with them. So you can go ahead and ask your questions and find out some of the great programs they have in place to help home buyers in this market. I see people finding a loan that fits and a good home all the time. And as a realtor, I can help with your home purchase contract. We can negotiate terms that help offset the burden of a high interest, like knowing when to offer less than the asking price or having the seller contribute to your closing costs so you have to pay less up front. Now, just this past week, I helped a family get under contract on their very first home. And even with another offer on the table, we won the contract. We got it for under asking price and the seller is covering the closing costs for the buyer. It really can happen in this market. So even if you're not buying a home right away, you wanna start working with a good realtor and get connected with a good lender and find out today what you will need so you'll be ready when the timing is right. Make sure you have all the documentation and things on your credit. They take you know 30 to 90 days sometimes to process through. Get all your ducks in a row and know what you need now. There's no cost or obligation to call me. We're just talking. Everyone, every home, every transaction is different. So if you'd like to talk about your specifics, call me. I always say the best time to buy or sell your home is when you are ready to buy or sell. But when you are ready, work with a good realtor who keeps up and can adjust your strategy to work with the market. I'm Katherine Davis, your Jacksonville homegirl. Talk to you soon.